What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, PJ Davis, a.k.a. The Remix Show. If you don't know, now you know. I got that flow. You used to have a pro. Not no mo. Today, I got a special guest with me. Not to mention, uh, did I mention I have pizza cooking in the oven right now? Got some pizza on deck. I'm on some Ninja Turtle stuff right now. I know it says ramen noodle. Today, I have a very special guest with me. This dude has been in the comedy game for just long enough to be a veteran, they're long enough to be an OG. He's got a special called F It Is Funny because you know what? Sometimes in life, F It Is Funny. Without further ado, before I go any further, Rangers all over the world, please help me welcome my homie, Comedy Store. Yo, man, what's going on, bro? Yeah. All right. We about to throw down on some sticks. We're playing Streets of Rage 4 on the PS4. Can't need I see more. Sorry, I don't have the five. I don't know. Don't ask me why. We're gonna get down and uh get to know Comedy Store. Tell us about yourself. Well, I'm Comedy Store 3. You know what I mean? And uh when I come through, I keep it all the way live, but now I'm a comedian, you know what I'm saying? And you know, I do my thing. I love getting out there and making people laugh, you know what I'm saying? I got a new special called Fuck It It's Funny. Cause fuck it. When it's funny, it's funny. You know what I'm saying? Your grandma fall down, fuck this shit. That shit was funny as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So you know. But all in all, when it comes down, oh, I'm holding it. You walk, so the way you hold them, you just walk up to them. I thought you played this before. How long have you been doing comedy for? So, uh, you know, I'm I'm kind of a newbie to this, but you know what I'm saying? I've been doing it for about a year now you know what i'm saying just trying to develop you know what i mean and get better he had me think he was the og like he been doing it for so long and i believe you know even even if i haven't been doing it for that long it, actually well i, I mean, seem it, I, I mean like it, i'm an OG. yeah there you go yeah that's what i like to me like to me it feels like you've been in it for like twelve thousand yeah, yeah. years even if it's your rookie season it still feel like you've been in it for like since 99. yeah yeah, you know, I feel like I've been in the game for a while, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just a feel like... I mean, you have a special. <laughs> Epic, it's funny. Epic. But, you know, you know, when I when I first started, man... Uh, oh, by the way, your guy can't pick up weapons. All he does is deflect the watch. Oh, I heard you, like, what made you want to get into the whole... What made you want to get into, like, doing stand-up? You know, I've always had, I've always had a uh, thing for comedy. You know what I mean? I've always had a a likeness for it and everything. And I love art, man. So you know what I'm saying? Music and comedy and craft, uh, yeah, and craft stuff. and acting and stuff is all all part of art. You know what I mean? Don't go too far. So, ooh. <laughs> cool warning. Yeah, that's the warning system right there. You know, so I feel like. You know, uh, when I came into the game, you know, uh, I, I met a know, bunch of people. Me. I met a bunch of people that were in this in this industry. You know what I mean? And so that's what made me really want to just keep doing it. You know what I mean? Because I like, was like, like connection, -wise, yeah, like this connections this, this, this and networking with people that are yeah, and like watch out, watch out. You can take them, you can take them so far. You know what I mean? Like you can take yourself so far when you find the right people to be around, you know what I mean? So That's not like, the hard thing though, like, it's like, something like, usually the first people you meet are usually the ones that you know are gonna turn on you, yeah. that usually turn on you. Yeah. Well, like, you, you'll meet one person that's like cool, and then another person that's kind of like, all right, rub the wrong way. But I guess, my mom always told me that, uh, oh, uh, 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 wait, wait, the pizza's ready! Mm -hmm. ah! Hey! What's up, man? Henry the Third. We got a comedy show coming up, September 4th. What's going on? It's the outlaw of San Antonio comedy, the comedic sex symbol, the one and only, the Mac. Hey, what's up? It's Wally. September 4th, 9 p.m., Pusu's Cocktails. Uh, we're going to be doing Vibes Comedy Jam. It's going to be free, so you don't have any excuses. Be there or be square. You're going to be there? It's at 9 p.m. Is that too late for you? Better not be. It's not late for me. It's going down September 4th at Who's Who's Cocktail. Y'all better make sure y'all be there or be square. You better make sure you bring your main chick, your side chick. Hey, we don't care. We ain't discriminating. Just know it's going down September 4th, 9 p.m. Make sure you be there. 
Bow! And I'm a Dungeons and Dragons dungeon master, so if I'm calling you square, it's like getting dunked on by a white guy. You got no excuses, it's free. You wanna come out? We gotta have some laughs, we gotta have some vibes, we definitely gotta have some drinks. Come on, let's go. Let's try it. You can take it far, but is it like more like taking the comedy far? Is it more like taking comedy to where you're able to be set for life? I want to be set for life. I want to be based off of comedy. Yeah, I want to be like, like Kevin like, Hart. Basically. You know what I mean? And you don't, you don't even have to do open mics. No, you don't even have to do uh, comedy shows. You know? Nah, he's yeah. straight. Like he's got all these sponsorships and yeah. everything. He's yeah, family. That's what I'm saying. Like. It can take you into further places, you know? right? You know what I mean. And so, I mean, you should let it. If if, if, if you're gonna do it, then you know, do it big or whatever the case yeah. may be. Like I would ignore all beef with people. You just be like, yo, focus on the prize. This is just yeah. like one guy was telling me. He's like, it's it's the, it's the drive, not the motive. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but it, you know, you do what you got to do to, you, you have to do what you got to do. It's always good to surround yourself with people that are going to lift you, but at the same time, not like, you know, but at the same time, you know, what they say, iron sharpens iron? Yeah. Worker. So, nowadays people are just more like, be one, be one, man. <laughs> yeah, my face. I'm like, man, I just started. Leave me alone. Like, why, why are you so mean? Why are you so, why are you so... But you know what, PJ? Th those are the people you don't need to be around. Right. Then that's what I was saying. Like, when you get into those the industry, Those are the people that actually will low-key, will high-key sabotage the show if they could. Exactly. That's why you don't need to associate yourself with people like that. You know what I mean? You really don't. Like, if they show you your true color at first, bro, move away from that shit. Well, if they show their true colors, like, right off the bat, then that's like, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for doing me a favor. I appreciate yeah. it. This video is sponsored by Red Baron. <laughs> Not really. The piece of good, though. Like, you gotta find the right people, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you meet somebody, like, here, you know what I mean, in the comedy scene, like, it might not be the right person. You know what I'm saying? Because they be saying some things to you, you know what I mean, and shit like that. So you gotta find, like, the right type of people to be around, you know what I mean? You mean, like, like subliminal stuff? Be saying yeah. stuff to you, be like smiling on your face when they're saying it. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. like, it means something else. Yeah, man. So you got to place yourself with the right type of people, bro. You know what I mean? Because it's like, when, 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 if you have a direction to where you're going, there's something that can stop you from that direction. So don't ever let that shit to stop you from that direction. You know what I mean? Right. That's what it's about. Don't let anything stop you from your direction. You know what I mean? Because if you if you have a plan, bro, you should finish your plan. Finish your plan. You know what I mean? Don't let anything stop you. But what we were talking about is how you fake people and shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like really, it's like you gonna you gonna do what you gotta do regardless of who's going with you or not. Yeah. Even if you gotta go by yourself. Exactly, bro. You got to do what you But then, you know, the crazy part about it is when you get to that point to where you're like, you know what I'm saying? People that mm -hmm. was like, just dissing you and start coming out, hey man, what's up man? What's going on man? And you're like, what's up? Mm -hmm. Yo man, you want to put me on the show? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> But you do it like subliminally. <laughs> you be like, hey, I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick. Yeah. And then dip out. Yeah. Like, yeah, cause yeah, cause you gotta be weary of people sometimes, you know what I mean? And you gotta kinda keep yourself away from certain things that you don't want. And that's the thing about it. Everybody's got a hidden agenda. Yeah. Everybody. If you got one, I got one. Yeah. It may be positive, negative, it might yeah. be positive for someone else. Yeah. yeah, it's just so much. It's just so much. So yeah, you will never know. Yeah, I posted that Facebook. Oh my bad. No, nah, but see, that's what I'm saying. And so 
Well, you know, we, you were asking me, you know, what what it was that made me want to do this and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? And what really made me want to do it was to to make people laugh, to bring to light things that people get so upset and mad about. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, I have the, uh, on, on stage, I love it, but, you know, I have this joke about uh, how do you eloquently tell somebody to shut the fuck up? How can you eloquent, how can I eloquently tell you to shut the fuck up? You know when people tell you dumb shit? People will tell you some dumb ass shit and expect you just to roll with it. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah, we do this every day. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up. But how do you eloquently tell somebody, shut, shut the fuck Excuse up? Excuse me, kind sir. Would you uh, possibly uh, <laughs> shut, shut the fuck <laughs> okay, uh, up? Shut it the fuck up? Can, can you pass the great poupon? And by the way, can you shut dine fuck up while you do it? Yes, please. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And shut dine fuck up. Please. Dine. Please. Listen down, 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 down. This, down, this down. on this day, can you please mm -hmm. shut dine fuck up? Please. <laughs> Basically what it is. Yeah. But, but you know, we don't tell them that. Yeah, but you know We so, say a lot of things in our head versus out loud, but then when we do say something out loud, it's like it's just crazy how you like you defend yourself and you I don't know, it's just this world is so backwards. I swear. I mean I saw this video where this lady was cooking she made something with chicken and, and a raw and some eggs. Didn't mean even like she put that shit in the uh, she put it in the I don't know, she put it in uh it the long story short, it was it just wasn't cooked. That she opened that chicken up, it was nothing but rawness, and the egg popped out like, oh. Then what are you doing? Exactly. But and she know. wants you to eat that or be cool with that. Like, bitch, please, get the fuck out of here. Shut the fuck up. No. You know what I'm saying? You ever, you ever been, a, you ever had somebody like, that was like extremely messy, they invited you over, but you didn't like, you know, like, you know, you can handle like, my, like, like like messy like like I can handle yeah. a mess like right this yeah. like this this is just you know this it's yeah. still you can still move it. My thing is if you can see the floor, that's what my dad said. If I can yeah. see the floor, then it's not. It's, it's, it's cool. If yeah. I can see the floor. I don't mean throw everything in on the side of the corner. Yeah. If I can see the floor. Nah, bro, I have a story for that. Oh yeah, bro, I was in Beaumont, Texas. Oh wait, and wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you don't be able to destroy that piece.